All right, welcome back. This is Dave Gardner with Magnetic Sponsors. Again, any questions, email them to davegardner at magneticsponsors.com and I'll be sure to help you out. Uh, just quickly showing you two of the ways that you could potentially go through and actually set up your blogs. Uh, one through GVO Blogger Builder and the other through uh, the cPanel. So I believe according to the directions we have them going as uh, I believe the Blogger Builder first. So we'll take a look at that one. What you'll be looking for is the Blogger Builder over on the left and just a couple quick steps and you'll you'll be pretty uh, set to go and what you're going to look for is the install wizard now I already have a couple here already you can go and edit them and you can change them up once you've actually made them so uh, you're looking for the install wizard and then basically you're going to find your domain you're going to install a new one and it's pretty simple just a couple clicks and what you'll be looking for right here is your actual domain now I have multiple domains so you would actually look for the one that you just did or uh, what you've recently set up so for example if I go through there's no particular order here that these are set up um, basically you're just looking for the website that you have um, and in this case these are all uh, email addresses so I am looking for, in this case, if I were to do it, this would be the one that I showed you setting up already, the dollars at $2secret.com. So you're looking for the one, notice it's, it's basically on your account, you come up with your own password, and when you set it up, you'd be setting it up either, if you want it to just be at, for example, mysite.com uh, for your blog, then you would just leave this blank. Um, otherwise, you would put in the folder, let's say you want to have a, a lead capture page in the beginning, that um, you know has an opt-in form and then goes to a hidden area where maybe the member blog is. Uh, then you would actually put this in a folder. Um, the folder can't exist, so make sure, or excuse me, should not exist. So just go through that, and then basically you're just going to get a, a series of uh, steps that go hand in hand. I'm not going to set one up here because I'm going to do mine a little bit different, but that's basically what you're looking at for uh, using the Blogger Builder. And then once you have them set up, even the three that I have set up before, I prefer to use uh, just regular WP-admin uh, to get in. I'll kind of walk you through that a little bit as well uh, later on. Um, if you're doing it in the second option, uh, going through your cPanel, what you're looking for is all the way down at the bottom. It's called Fantastico Deluxe. You're going to click on that. And pretty much it's, this, it's pretty similar setup. Over here under blogs, you're going to look for WordPress. You're going to click on WordPress, and we're going to start a new uh, installation. So you're going to click on new installation, and basically you're going to have some of the same ideas where, notice because I'm already in, this is my cPanel for $2 secret. Uh, that's the only option that I have here, unlike the other one. I'm going to come up with a directory. Again, if I want it to be in the main domain, I could just leave this blank. Otherwise, I would put it in a folder. And I can kind of make my own if I want to change and have a, a different username and password. Uh, you can go from there, and then you can put a little more information. I could change this email. Um, notice this says admin email address. Sometimes there's issues where you log off and you forget your password and you make a mistake and then uh, you get errors and, and GVO will block you if you uh, try to log in too many times. It's basically a security uh, issue so they know that someone isn't trying to break in and grab your information. So you want to make sure you know which uh, admin password you have or admin email. So you can go through and change this. And again, once you get set up, then you'd be, be brought right in and, into actually going in and logging into uh, WordPress. Um, again, I'm not going to show, show this up. I got a couple things I'm going to be doing different for my own uh, website, but just quickly wanted to show you that um, in the uh, article or the report there is uh, some information in regards to um, the 43 WordPress tutorials um, that my buddy Cedric put together so I would highly suggest you check him out it's only seven bucks um, you know and, and he's got some great ideas as far as WordPress I we could go on and on I want to keep this relatively easy and short to the point I know it's about nine pages long but just try to keep it as simple as, as possible so um, what I was talking about though, once you get in, so for example, for one of my other blogs, um, for example, Magnetic Sponsors, what you would do, I, I have MagneticSponsors.com, and when we click on that, it just brings us to me, me to basically a capture page. And you know, there's information here, you can sign in to my uh, website and get, you know, get a free uh, audio program, which is right here, Web Audio Plus. But if I go and, and click on and add blog, 
my blog is actually stored in another folder. So I would have to log in a little bit differently. And there's a little bit different design to the site. So I'm kind of playing around with it still and, and updating it. Um, but just to show you, and actually sometimes it comes up as a subdomain too. So not a big deal. It, it just As long as you plug it in one way or another. And again, I have the same capture form here. So I can capture people from both areas. And if I want to log in though, when I would log in, it could either be blog.magneticsponsors.com backslash wp-admin. Whoops, I spelled that wrong. Let's go back. A little pop up there. Right, let's, let's get rid of this whole thing here. All right, so if I want to go to the blog, wp-admin. And then I'll be able to actually log into the blog. And you'll see something similar to the cPanel. Again, username and password. And we see this is scrolling up here still. Usually when it's scrolling, that's a good sign. That means it's actually processing. If it shakes like this, then you know you've entered the wrong password. And again, I believe GVO gives you about five trials. And again, that's for a safety procedure. Um, once you get into blogs, it, it can be very confusing, but at the same time, it can be very easy. Uh, excuse me, very easy. Um, there's a lot of plugins you could add just to make your, your site go as, as smoothly as possible. But that's basically what you're looking at, wp-admin. If I had just done some of the other blogs, it would have just been the main site backslash WP admin, but I had the, the blog form there uh, as well. So again, uh, check out, I, I highly recommend checking out the 43 Word, uh, WordPress tutorials by Cedric, and uh, they'll, they'll get you going. If you have any other questions, I can try to help you out quick as possible. So uh, again, this is a wrap of our next video. If you have any questions, send me an email, get in touch with me, and I'd be glad to help you out. Thanks.